Hey guys, it's Keith. Well, on this trip I am car camping with my son Evan here. And I have a little tip for those of you who are looking to camp and avoid the rain. Now, on our trip we had one day with some real torrential rain and flash flooding. And we didn't want to end our trip, so I rigged up a tarp setup that kept us nice and dry. And I thought this might be useful for people if you're camping for maybe five or six days and the middle day is a real horrible washout, but you don't want to end your trip early. You want to enjoy your camping and just kind of tolerate the rain. So I've got this tarp set up. I'm going to show you how to use it and hopefully you can get some tips on how to stay dry when you're camping. Okay guys, the most critical thing is the right tarp. You want to get a nice plastic tarp big enough that's going to cover your tent. Those of you who have used Easy Ups to cover your picnic table, you know that when you get a downpour, your stuff on your table is getting wet. You need something for this, a tarp that's going to be big enough. The rule of thumb that I use is to get a tarp that is about twice as big as the footprint of your tent. The tarp that I've got here is 16 feet wide by 30 feet long, and it really covers the tent that I've got behind me, which is a pretty big three-room three tent. Uh, it's probably about 15 feet long. So I got a nice uh, tarp here that's 30 feet long. It's going to work. I also got these grommet savers. These have some flex to them, so you're not going to tear your grommets out, of, out if you have a wind problem or windstorm. The other thing is this paracord. I just picked this up at Walmart, just standard paracord. This stuff works really well because you can tie a very simple knot or even no knot at all on the tree and it will hold. It's very cheap. Get a, several hundred feet of this stuff. I got probably 200 feet to rig this tarp up here and it worked really well. Because you can't pick how far away the trees are, so you're going to need a lot of cord just in case. So what we're going to do first, we're going to thread this grommet saver in here like this. So we've got our grommet saver on here. We're just going to simply use some paracord. It's pretty thin, but it's strong. We're going to tie a simple square knot. We're going to go once over. Then we're going to go once over again. And this square knot is going to hold it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run this up into the tree. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so to get the tarp up, you're going to have to get it up pretty high. Now, how are you going to do that when it needs to be 12 or 16 feet up in the air? Well, I got a real simple solution. Just grab a stick. Uh, I literally tripped over the stick when I got to the campsite. And it's got really nice edges here where you can string a rope in. I'm going to use this, reach up high into the tree, swing it around the tree, and then just tie it off. And I'll show you how we'll do that right now. The last thing I'll say is, the, it's another critical part, is get the angle of your tarp correct. If it's just too flat, the water is going to pool in the center and you may have, have rip, a grommet ripped out and end up with a big mess. So you want one end of the tarp to be higher than the other and you want it angled. So I would work on one side first, get it as high as you can, and then work on the opposite side. Get all four corners pitched up first, get a good angle, and then you can use the sides uh, all along the edges here to kind of drop it down a little bit and get this whole thing so that the rainwater is just flowing right off of it and right away from your tent. Now what's nice with this 30 foot long tarp, my tent is right in the middle. The rain really does not have a chance to get to it. So get a big tarp, get plenty of par paracord and just take a little bit of time working on it. Within a half hour you can get a nice tarp set up and you're going to stay completely dry in almost any rainstorm you can imagine. If you have any questions or comments about this tarp setup, drop them below. I appreciate the likes and the subscriptions and watching the videos. Uh, thanks a lot for your support and we'll catch you next time. Bye. <laughs> How'd I do? Good. Okay. <laughs>